So now before we go to the field, we're going to eat some oats and I'll show you how to cook them. So now before we go to the field, we're going to eat some oats and I'll show you how to cook them. So we're here, here we have the oats. We're going to add some sugar. And we're going to add some water to it. Now we're going to put it on the stove and let it cook for a little bit. About 10 minutes. So now I'm going to add some of the oats I made earlier. I added some milk to it. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. It's some dried fruit. And I spread it on top. And it's done. So a little clarification here for you guys is that the difference between the practice field routine and the diet and lifting routine is about two months apart. So that's why your words don't match. That's it. We'll start off here with a little warm up. A uh, little, little dynamic warm up here before we start. Uh, before we start, you know, the throwing routine. This goes. It's quite long. This video is quite long, so I show you guys like the whole routine. Then, so I wouldn't have to explain it again. And we'll jump to the footwork routine here. I'm doing it like about 50% just for like demonstration purposes. Uh, I did a lot more after I shut off the camera. It's just like for demonstration and to get you guys through the uh, footwork drills that I do. If any mistakes are shown here, you feel free to comment in the video on how to correct to correct it.
Now here we'll move on into the kind of drop back uh, drill. Three step drops in five step. I don't know if they're, I'm not quite sure if they're, this is a three step drop or five. But I counted about three steps. Sound, uh, seems like it's a little bit more. And this, and this uh, drop right after it is a five step. But it seems a lot longer. So I might have to do my research on that one. We will start off here by throwing slants. As you guys can see, uh, first throw was a little off. Here's the second throw, also a little off. It wasn't spiraled right. Here's the third. On point, but dropped. You can see him, guys. I'm pissed a little bit. Uh, but he's a cornerback, so. Threw a little over him. I need to improve my uh, on the line, like, uh, throws a little bit more. Because they are off. This one was on. It wasn't timed right. This was dropped this was caught but it wasn't spiraled the way i wanted it to be and i like my you know my passes to be spiraled i don't like him to be wobbly it's just uh something about pride i don't know what pride has to do with it it's just it feels better Here's an out route. It was caught. I don't think it was thrown right though. Here's a little. It wasn't caught, but it was underthrown. Here's another dig. I think it was a dig. Another out route. Overthrown. And here's the another out route. And it's overthrown, but he caught the ball. 
No, I didn't think he caught it. This one is going to be caught. Out route. I have, like, a little off days. Like, when I literally can't throw right. But this was one of them days. Uh, yours was an attempt for deep ball, but my arm lags on throws beyond 30 yards. And here you can see that my spine was a little off. Like, I literally stared down on the turf. <clears throat> Here's my, you know, drop was a little off. Took a little, you know, stepped a little bit on the gas and it couldn't stop. So my deep balls are, aren't developed yet, but it is what it is. I'm trying to throw more and improve them, but it takes time. If you see me guys before like this, like training sessions, people, I was putting all my body into the throw and it was barely like, could surpass 15 yards. Here's another slant, dropped also. Here's another slant. My release is a little, very slow, but I'm working on that also. I have a little of sore, uh, sorry, sore shoulders and uh, elbows after throwing. So if any of you watching the video have a solution for sore, I don't know if it's soreness or pain, because it stays a couple of days uh, after throwing. And sometimes can cut my throwing session short because I feel pain. Eh, here's a little short passes. Focusing on mechanics. And trying to put a little velocity on the ball. But yeah, um, I have a little soreness problem in my elbow. So if you, and if you guys have a solution, he didn't catch it. Uh, I think in the next throw, I'll overthrow him. Oh, this is taking a long time. Here's the, uh, another throw. All our shotgun formation. I was training a little bit of under center. Uh, I don't know why, although I, and many uh, offenses on the lower tier always run a shotgun formation, but I was throwing under center. Maybe because of the weak arm. Here's another throw. By the way, oh my god, this is this was very like this was bad. It was really overthrown. Here's another nice pass. And by the way, the like the field we train in is not meant like is really rough and there's a lot of holes in it. Like there's literally a overthrown again. There's literally like a lake behind me. When I was doing the drop back, there's like a huge hole behind me. So it wasn't perfect. So I think this wraps up the the throwing uh, uh, session we had in the field. And we'll put you back on the lifting routine. So see you on the lifting routine. Nine. And a half. Hopefully, it focuses. So we're gonna head to the gym. Uh, I have a bag, a back day today. Uh, back and biceps. So. So here's my lifting routine that I do. First, we start off with the uh, stretches with the light bar. Uh, it's a quarterback specific stretch. Uh. <clears throat> I saw online. You can see my rib cage there. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I do stretches. It's a back workout today. We start with a warm up. 
by the way, this was a nice gym that I was in just to record uh, the lifting routine. Then I moved back to the gym that I usually uh, train in, which doesn't open in the morning. A little warm up here. You can see a close up. And we start off with a lat pull downs. They're really good. Uh, I prefer back workouts over a push, like shoulder and chest workouts, just because of the factor of external rotation and how back muscles are always stretched in, in a weaker position. Then the, uh, I think, uh, I don't know what the muscles in the front of the body are called, but they're always tighter. <clears throat> Here's a little close up. Here we doing, uh, I forgot the name of this exercise, but it specifies the lats also. Here's another machine that works also the lats and the upper back. I was really struggling on these. Now it's second nature, but it was the beginning of me going to the gym. Dumbbell rows here. We're doing some dumbbell rows. I'm putting a lot of momentum in it. Moment, momentum. Bicep curls. I clearly have like zero to at my height, I have no mass, like close to no mass, 135 pounds, so I have to train bodybuilding style to gain some mass. Here's another lat workout. And face pull downs. Now we move on to the face pull downs. Uh, pull. I don't know if they called. I don't know what they call. Like I messed up, but it has something to do with the shoulders. It's a shoulder workout. I do that ev after every workout. Here's bicep hammer bicep curls with the rope on the on the pulley machine. And that pretty much uh, wraps up my whole lifting routine. Um, I'll let you guys back into the what the rest of my diet, you know, what I do with the, with the rest of my diet, like my dinner and my lunch. And thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like and share. With whoever cares about football or sports, I just get and see you later. So I just got back from the gym, and this is my second part of my breakfast, which is three boiled eggs. I usually eat four. I don't know if you can see them. You know, a little bit of cheese here and cucumber.
and I'm gonna eat one of these tablets, which is uh, amino acids, or I think they're called BCAs, AAs, because my eating is weak. I eat below my calorie needs, and I don't eat enough protein, so we'll see how this transformation works, but I'm under eating in protein and calories. So that's why I take one of these amino acids. I take one in the day and one in the night, uh, hoping that they help me in some way how uh, in building muscle. So I'm gonna eat them. And I'll show you guys all my food, like all my meals in the daylight. I'm not gonna show you the dinner because there's no good lighting. That's it. To the next meal.